Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial video. In this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a socket EMC generator. Um, due to the amount of materials required in this, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to use NEI or not enough items, which is this window you see on the right hand side of your screen in the mod pack. It can be toggled by opening your inventory and the hotkey is O to turn it on and off. So the first thing you're going to need to know about this before we actually get into the EMC gen tutorial is to see a recipe. You can either left click what you want to learn how to make and it'll show the recipe. You can press R on it and it will show the recipe. Or if you right click it, it will show you what it can be used to make. Now that we know that, we can go ahead and jump right in. Um, like I said, due to the amount of materials used in this, I will not be setting up the recipes or even the monitor for this one because that would just take too much time and it'd take like 20 minutes to explain how to make all this. So the first thing we're going to need is, well, MK2 condensers and they have to be MK2 and you'll notice they are expensive, 9 million, almost 10 million EMC each. We're going to need quite a few of those, not a full stack, but we are going to need quite a few. Um, I think 25 to be exact. Next we're going to need modular sockets which do have an EMC value. Then we're going to need item extractor modules from the engineers toolbox. Again to learn the recipes for these you can press R on them on the right hand side and it will show you how to make everything you need to uh, craft these which is why I'm going to skip that. Next, we're going to need an item output. We're going to need five automatic crafting table MK2s and 10 filters. We are also going to need a socket remote. And I'll tell you guys what, what else you need as I go. But for now, this is enough for us to get started. So you're going to want a spot with a decent amount of area because this is the filter method. It's not the smallest. So pipe, chest, filter, here. So you're going to want to have three blocks on each side, a block in front and behind at least. Oops. We're going to make it five blocks long. Once you have those placed as such, we're going to go underneath of it. We're going to take the item extractor modules. We are going to right click to put them into the chassis. We are going to take the socket remote. We are going to shift right click until it turns green. Then we are going to right click each of these one time and you'll see one green dot lights up. Do that for each of them. Then we're going to go to the top of these and put the outputs in the top slot. Take the remote, do the same thing, right click one time each to set them to channel one so that it matches the bottom. Then we're going to go up two blocks and do it again. Start on the bottom, extractors, right click each one with the green remote to set them to channel one, go to the top, item outputs, set the channel, and there we go, now the socket bit is done. Next, we are going to place down a bunch of energy condenser MK2s, some on the bottom, some on the top. Next, we are going to take our automatic crafting table MK2s, place them in between those sockets as such. I do not have a di uh, damage chest plate on me, so I'm going to fly over here and grab one of those real quick. If I can make it over there eventually. There we go. Going to need one of those. 
And then we'll head back on over. Now we're going to go to the energy condenser MK2s on the bottom. We're going to put our damaged diamond chest plate in the top left. The Real quick, the difference between an MK1 and an MK2 energy condenser is that the energy condenser MK2 has two separate inventories. This one is input and this one is output. And that's very important for this. So we're going to go to each of these bottom condensers, put on our damaged chest piece, as such. Then we're going to need high covalescence dust, if I can spell. We're going to go to the automatic crafting tables, fill every slot in the table with the high covalescence dust except one, put on our damaged chest plate, do the same thing for the rest of these. such. Next we're going to take our filters and we're going to place them facing the automatic crafting tables on each side. Then we're going to take our energy condenser MK2s and place them against the inputs of the filters as such. Then we're going to take our high covalescence dust and put them into the condenser MK2s on the side. Do that for each one of these. And then this side. Okay, now we've got the basic setup. Next, we are going to get into a little bit of logistics. The first thing we're going to need is logistics chassis MK1. And here's the recipe for that. It's a basic logistics pipe, two iron ingots, redstone. This is the basic logistics pipe recipe. Fortunately, a lot of the logistics stuff does have an EMC value. So if you've decided to use Project E and you've already created the first tier EMC generator, then this is going to be a lot easier. Then we're going to come down here, place them underneath the energy condenser MK2s as such. Place them along the side as such, on both sides. I didn't mean to put that one there. Oh well. Like that. And then do the same for the top. Now the next thing we're going to need to connect all of these is basic logistics pipes. Which we can run as such. Now we are going to need one more energy condenser MK2, so my original count was off a little bit. We are going to place it directly underneath this basic logistics pipe right here. And then we're going to need storage. Now, you can use an alchemical chest for this, but it generates a substantial amount of items fairly quickly, so instead I'm going to use Jabba which is the better barrel and the upgrades. So we're going to need one of each structural upgrade and a Java barrel. Place the barrel down, take the upgrades, and shift right click them into the barrel in order. So I, 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 Roman numerals counting up. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, seven. We are also going to need an 81 storage upgrade, a 27, two nines, and a base storage upgrade. Five, six, 
seven. And then with the storage upgrades, shift right click them in again. And that will, as you'll see in the information up top, it is increasing how much it can hold. Next, we are going to need logistics chassis MK2, and we are going to need two of these. Place them down as such on top of the barrel and that condenser. You can use diamonds for this or something else. I personally prefer using emeralds because it's what I'm used to. We're going to put that in the energy condenser down here connected to the chassis MK2. Next, we are going to need active suppliers. Ah, there we go. Item sync modules. Extractor MK3s. And provider MK2s. You don't need a stack of each, but I for the sake of making my life easier I'm going to use them next we can right click the logistics chassis with a wrench and you will see that it's got the MK2 has two slots the MK1 has one slot for the barrel we are going to put in a provider module MK2 and an item sync I'll show you guys how to set that up in a minute for the energy condenser MK2 that we have over here we are going to use an active supplier and a provider. In case I didn't say it, we're using a provider on the barrel as well. Next, we're going to take those active supplier modules. We're going to take our emeralds. We are going to hold the active suppliers in our hand and shift right click. Put the stack of emeralds in the middle. Set this option on the bottom right to full. And then we can you can open these with a wrench, or if you want to make your life easy, you can just right-click them into the chassis, which is what I'm going to do. So we're going to right-click the active suppliers requesting a stack of emeralds set to full into the sides and bottom condensers of the EMC gen. As such. Okay. The next thing we are going to need is a logistics power junction. This is what gives the logistics system all of its power. I'll do a more in-depth video on logistics later on. For now, I'm just going to show you guys how to get the CMC gen up because we're going to use it in the logistics tutorial. To power the logistics power junction you just have to give it RF to make my life easy I'm gonna use a top tier solar panel which will charge it very quickly and you'll notice that these pipes now have power I did set those up right yeah okay next we're going to go to the top up here we're going to take those extractor module mk3s and we're going to put them in the top i'm going to use red matter furnaces for this the higher emc the item the better because this is going to generate stuff very quickly so unless you want to have to deal with items exploding everywhere you want something with a lot of emc and on this server, Red Matter Furnaces have the highest DMC of any item. I needed one of those. Next, we're going to come over, back over here. We are going to right-click the barrel, item sink. We are going to input the Red Matter Furnace into the item sink. We are going to take an active supplier, remove the emeralds, and put... 10 red matter furnaces in the middle with it set to full to stack items like that you have to right click or I mean I suppose you can left click too but right clicking is easier oh whoops yeah so the active supplier on top of this condenser mk2 10 of those set it to full 
Next, we're going to take red alloy wire, run it across all of the filters that we just put down. I need marble. As such. Next, we can run up the wall right there a little bit. Place a timer down connected to the red alloy wire. And to make it toggleable, we are going to put a lever there. And that'll turn the timer on and off. Set the timer to one second intervals. Come down here. Open the energy condenser with the emeralds. And we need to jump start it. So just feed it as much EMC as you can. And you'll see it starts taking them out, running them through the pipes to all these condensers with the stuff in them. And now it's crafting. And it will produce our 10 million EMC red nutter furnaces, if I get this right. Why isn't that one getting anything? Anywho, um, once I figure out what went wrong with this guy, it's not getting items. Why isn't it getting items? Not getting chest pieces. Because that's not getting any emeralds. I... Ooh? Yeah, okay. So the reason that one's probably not working is because I didn't give it enough EMC to start out with. It should fill itself here in a second. Interesting. You have ten. How many are you asking for? Ten. So why aren't you... Okay, to jumpstart, I'm just gonna manually put these in. Alright, I'm fairly certain I'm lagging at this point, is what that is. And I am. Alrighty. So there you have it. The socket EMC gen completed and ready to go. Making red matter furnaces for us. This one is five long. Five blocks long. And it should produce about 50 million EMC every two to three seconds. Which we are going to use in the next tutorial video where I show you guys how to use logistics. Hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.